Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Are you ready for the battle between Luminar Classic and Luminar AI? We're going to do a retouching of a Milky Way photo, which is for me one of the hardest way to, you know, one of the hardest raw files to retouch. And we're going to challenge them both and see if we can get similar results. Let's do it. I'm here in Lightroom Classic. I'm going to start off by not opening the shadows because if you do that, you're going to get a whole bunch of noise. I shot this at 15 second f4 because I only had my 1224 on me. I didn't have my Canon 40 millimeter 2.8, which is what I should have used. So the photo is a little too much underexposed, but let's get the best out of Lightroom and then let's get the best out of Luminar AI. Stay until the end to see which one wins. Um, you know, this is not a scientific comparison. This is an artistic comparison. I'm going to do the best that I can in Lightroom with my knowledge of Lightroom and then the best that I can in Luminar with my knowledge of Luminar and we'll see. So I'm going to boost the overall exposure and I'm going to boost, and that's the key here, boost the whites. The whites is going to help a lot. It's going to help to make really the sky pop. Now, this is too bright here. So two things. First, I'm going to bring back some blue because I love when the night is cold. For me, night equals cold equals blue. Simple. Okay, now that's way too much overexposed. Uh, so now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to lower just the highlights here. And I'm going to brush just here so it's not so bright. Voila. Okay, and I'm already liking what I'm seeing here. I'm going to add some contrast. And I really want to make the Milky Way pop. So I'm going to take a little gradual circle here. Don't tell anybody. I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to double click on effect to make sure everything is at zero. And I'm going to just boost the clarity. Now, and I'm going to add a bit of yellow and red. Now, when you do that, make sure you're inverted because if you're not, if you basically right now, all these three sliders is happening everywhere but in my circle. I want the inverse of that. So you click so inversed and you are good. Now I'm going to make this circle way smaller. I'm going to go here and rotate it and put it just over the Milky Way. Voila. And to make it pop, it's a little too warm. I just wanted a bit, a bit of color and clarity really makes it pop. It's kind of crazy. And um, I'm, I think I want to make it even more blue, maybe a little more magenta. And I like that. I like that. And um, it's a bit noisy here. So there's a bit of color noise. So I'm going to go to color noise here. Where is the color noise? Um, yeah, noise, color noise. I'm maybe going to put it at 25. Now, when you retouch star photos, I don't advise you to do a lot of noise reduction. Try to not go over 10 because if you do, you are going to erase a lot of stars. I don't want that. So I'm kind of happy with that. Um, you know, I can uh, let me do a virtual copy because I've done this before so if i do it before so this is the before this is the after now very important guys really quick uh below this video you have a link to the five day deal we are right in the middle of it there's just a couple of days left what it is is over 25 photographers got together donated each one of their main product i gave my florida sky this year it's $2,200 worth of tutorial for $89. If there's only one thing you should buy this year, this is it. Get it on the link below, you'll love it. Don't go to Luminar by going like this. Right click, edit, Luminar AI. Because you see here it says edit a copy with Lightroom adjustment. It's a mistake I did the first time I, I trained on this. By doing that, you're getting out of the raw file, uh, the raw format. I wanna make sure I've got a raw format. So what I did is I imported the raw file in Luminar. See, it's the same thing, it's an ARW file. So I'm, I wanna make sure I go on the best possible raw file at first. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do uh, is a completely different workflow. I'm gonna go here to on hands. I'm gonna boost the accent a lot, which is gonna make it a lot brighter, which I like that. But I like it for the sky, I don't like it for the bottom. So I'm gonna take a brush. I'm gonna take a little brush. Uh, so you just click here. Paint mask, and uh, I'm going to put the opacity 100%. Let me make the radius. So the radius is basically the size of my brush. Softness is how soft the brush is. You want it always at 100. And opacity is how powerful that is. So I'm going to put it at full power right on the Milky Way. And then I'm going to do the opacity like at 50%. And then I'm going to paint around the Milky Way at 50%. Okay, and as I go away from the Milky Way. I'm going to go at 25% and I'm going to paint 
here at 25%. So that's kind of cool. Like that's, uh, that's kind of powerful to be able to do that. That way I make the Milky Way pop and um, well, there's a bit of a line here. So that's kind of annoying. So let me add a bit of more power here. Voila. Okay, yeah, it's less visible, but it's kind of cool. I like what it does. Okay, but now let's go to light and let's make that sky blue, 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 not so blue. Yeah, blue like that. So I can compare. I can go to Lightroom and like compare the result, um, which is here. Okay, my sky is much brighter still in, in Lightroom, so it's fine. I'm going to go to the black and white and I'm going to boost the white like we did in Lightroom so that this, it becomes much brighter. Okay, and then I'm going to boost the exposure of the overall photo and I'm going to crush the blacks to make sure I don't open the blacks. So that's pretty good. I feel now it's a little more too saturated compared to Lightroom. Yeah, much too saturated. It's much too blue actually. I went, I went too blue. So let me go back a little bit here. Just a tad. Maybe add a bit of magenta like I did here. These sliders are, are completely different. They're very powerful. Like temperature 3400. What am I here uh, in Lightroom? I am like 3,515. Okay, well, why don't we match it? 3,515, just about about here. Okay, cool. And then I'm at plus 14 here, plus 15. Okay, so pretty much the same white balance. Okay, now I want to make that Milky Way pop even more. And so for this, I'm going to go to details and I'm going to add a lot of small details, but I'm only going to do it in the sky. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to paint. Uh, opacity, maybe in 50%, I'm just going to paint that effect here on the Milky Way and a bit around. Okay, just like that so that it just makes that pop. Okay, and then uh, I think it's pretty, pretty similar. It's still a bit brighter. So you know what? I, yeah, it's still a bit brighter. So I, I'm going to go and dodge. I'm going to dodge and burn this. I'm going to add a bit of light and very small, like strains. Never touch the softness, 17. And I just want to make some part of the Milky Way a little bit brighter, but not just a few brushes here and there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Kind of similar. It just makes it a little more poppy here. And uh, yeah, my blacks are darker here in, uh, I think I went a little strong. I went a little strong. So if you go too strong, you can just erase. You just go to erase like this, and then you redo it. You go to lighten, and instead of putting strength at 17, let's go at nine and just add a little bit of light. Yeah, the, the values in Lumina are pretty powerful. Okay, that's kind of cool, but my, my blacks and contrast is much bigger. So I'm gonna go back to light here and I'm gonna crush the blacks even more. Yeah, and I'm gonna make the photo even more brighter. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So now we have, that's a little too bright. So I can go back to my dodge and burn and this time I'm gonna go to darken. I'm gonna put a very small strands and I'm going to just make this a little bit darker uh, before, after. That's uh, not much. Let's maybe a little more, just a little tad more darker. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. So Lightroom, Luminar, Lightroom, Luminar. Okay. And then noise reduction. So let's go to noise. Re the noise reduction is very effective in Luminar. Uh, let me see here. Um, Denoise. I'm going to go here, especially here. I want to get rid of the color noise. Uh, it's funny, there is less noise originally in this shot. Uh, oh, maybe not. Okay, so color denoise, boom. Uh, we, you can go strong on color denoise, but don't go luminosity. We just went to 10. I, I think I'm going to keep it that way. And then let's see advanced settings, boost. I don't know what that's doing, but I'm going to leave it like that. And um, so, yeah, Luminar is a little slower than Lightroom, but uh, I'm liking what I see. So this is Lightroom and this is Luminar. Yeah, I'm more colorful here in Luminar. So you know what? I'm just going to go to colors and lower the vibrance a little bit. Yes. So now, yeah, that matches a little more. Again, you know, it's uh, artistics. It's not, uh, I like both. I think I like Lightroom a little more, to be honest but uh it's pretty cool so check out the five day deal we are a few hours away before it ends i mean it's crazy over 30 artists got together to give some of the best resources 
uh, you know, for over $2,000, you can get it for $89. If there's only one thing you can buy this year, it's the 5D deal. The link is under this video. I'll see you in another video. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.